Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can render multiple templates in Lightning Web Component. So let's first understand the scenario. So for example, if we have created a Lightning Web Component named as Miss Multiple Templates. So whenever you will be creating this Lightning Web Component, so .html, .javascript, and .js meta.xml files will be created automatically. If you want to apply CSS or styles, so you can create .css file. And additionally, if you want to create additional HTML files, so you can create those as well. So here you can see we will be creating template1.html and template2.html files in the same Lightning Web component where already one HTML file is available. So I will demonstrate you if we create more than one HTML files in a Lightning Web component, so how we can use them all together. So let's jump to Lightning uh, Visual Studio Code so that we can create a Lightning Web component. So here I'm right clicking on this LWC folder and creating a new Lightning Web component. So I'm naming it as Miss Multiple Templates. So here you can see this component is created and uh, uh, these three files are created automatically. So you can see .html file is available, .js file is available and .js meta xml file is also available, right? So first of all, I'm going to implement the code which is required for these three files and then I will be creating template1 and template2.html. So right now, this temp miss multiple template.html will be blank. I will be focusing on this .js file. So in this JavaScript file, I will be importing uh, those template1.html and template2.html. So I'm writing import statement. So I'm going to import template one from, then inside single quotes, I'm writing dot slash template1.html. So you might be thinking like, uh, where is template1.html? So after implementation of this JavaScript code, I will be creating this template1.html file inside this Lightning Web component. So similarly, I'm going to import template2 So this way, both template one and template two dot HTML will be imported and they will be represented through this uh, name that is template one and template two. And here I have used dot slash. So dot slash represents both these HTML files are part of this lightning web component. If these files are created in any other lightning web component, so in that case, I need to use C slash and that file name, right? So this is the difference. So in uh, upcoming examples, I will be demonstrating like if file is available in any other Lightning Web component, so how you can use that, right? So in this example, this template one and template two dot HTML will be available in the same Lightning Web component, which is miscellaneous multiple templates. So that I will be importing later. So first I'm implementing this JavaScript file. So here I'm creating a variable named as template one and I'm initializing it as true, right? Now I'm going to use a function which is named as render. So whenever component loads on the UI, so this render function executes automatically, right? So now here I'm going to check return this dot template one, then I'm placing question mark. So it means this dot template one. So this template one variable, if it is having value as true, so template one will be rendered. And if it is having value as false, then template two will be rendered. So 
wherever I'm using this dot template one, it means I'm referencing this variable. So this is the differentiation because here you can see I use template one twice. So uh, above template one, which I used with import statement, which uh, it is representing this template one dot HTML, which is written over here after question mark, right? The template one, the variable which I created here, it is used with this dot, right? So this is the reason why we use this with the variable so that if you use that variable name for any other identification, so you can clearly distinguish variable and those other identifiers. So this template one is uh, we are using that is uh, available here with import and this uh, this dot template one is a variable and question mark and colon is basically a conditional operator. So this part will be known as condition. If it is true, then this uh, question mark part will be evaluated or executed. If uh, this dot template one is false, then whatever is written after colon sign will be executed, right? So right now this template one variable is having value as true. So it means it will render template one dot HTML because it is represented through this template one identifier. Now I'm going to implement one more method, which is switch template. Inside this method, I'm writing this dot template one equals to this dot template one. So again, if I'm using this dot template one, it means I'm using this variable, which is declared here at line number five. So now I'm just comparing it with true. And again, I'm using question mark and colon. So understand it, it is very simple. So this is the condition. So condition says, if this variable template one is equals to true, so it will be returning false and false will be assigned to this template one variable. So it means if uh, the template one variable is having true, then it will be automatically having false. And if it is having false, then it will be having true because here in false part, we are having true. So vice versa will be happening. Okay, so this way I implemented this JavaScript file, which is available here with this component. Now we need to implement this template 1.html and template 2.html. So now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to create new file and naming it as template 1.html. So you can see this template 1.html is created inside this lightning web component. Okay, so here I need to implement the code. So I'm writing template inside template. I'm going to write another elements. So I'm using lightning card and its title will be template one. Now inside this lightning card, I'm going to use a div. And inside this div, I'm writing this is template one so that whenever it will be rendered on the UI, so you can recognize which template is rendered because we are having two templates. One is template one and one is template two. Now, after this div, I'm going to use P tag and I'm applying a class. And this class is a predefined class, which is margin hyphen vertical hyphen small. Now inside this P, I'm going to use a lightning button. Its label will be switch templates. And on click of this button, I'm going to call that switch template function. So I need to remove this double quotes because when we call any function, so we don't need to use double quotes. We need to enclose it in uh, curly braces. Right, so this way lightning button is implemented and uh, this P tag is closed and lightning card is closed. So this way template one whole code is implemented. I'm copying this complete code and I'm right clicking on this lightning web component, clicking on new file and I'm creating template two dot HTML file. And here I'm pasting the code. So here I just need to change little bit. So here I'm writing two instead one. 
two instead one and this whole code will will be same so whenever i will be clicking on this button so this switch template function will be executed right so this way template one and template two html files are created we are importing these files here at line number two and three and as per this variables value if it is true so template one will be rendered if it is false then template two will be rendered and for switching we have already defined this switch template function right so now it's time to implement dot xml file so that we can place this component on the ui and we can uh, check the behavior of this lightning web component whether it is working fine or not so targets and here i need to define the target so i am picking lightning home page right so i will be placing this on the home page of a particular app so all the files are saved now this lightning web component is ready to deploy so i am just right clicking and uh, deploying from source to org So once this component is deployed, so a success message will be available. So here you can see success message is available. Now I'm jumping here and uh, you can see we are on the home page of sales application. So I'm going to place the component here. So for that, you just need to click on this gear icon, which is available at top right corner, click on edit page. So Lightning App Builder will be opened. And uh, if you go to left and scroll to bottom, so here you will see your components. So we created miscellaneous multiple templates. So I'm just clicking and drop, dragging and dropping it. And I'm clicking on save. So changes are saved. And here you can see template one is rendered because uh, by default, if we go to JavaScript file, so template one is true. So by default, template one is rendered on the UI because of this render function, right? And here you can see this message is available. This is template one. It is because we wrote it here inside the dev. Then we have a lightning button whose label is switch template. So you can see this button is available. Now, as I click on this button, so the switch template function will be executed. It is available here, which will check the value of template one variable. It is right now true. So it will be assigning as false automatically, right? So I'm clicking on this button and you can see the message is template two automatically. If I click again, so it is showing template one. So this way, if you create a lightning web component and if you have more than one HTML files, and you want to render those files based on particular condition. So you can import those files like this. You can use like dot slash and then file name dot HTML. And you can use any identifier to identify those files. And accordingly, you can just render those files on the UI. So this way, I hope you understood how we can render multiple templates with the help of Lightning Web Component. And if you want to apply some CSS, so you can create this CSS file as well. So in upcoming video, I will be demonstrating how we can apply styles in Lightning Web Component. So keep watching the videos. And I hope you understood how we can render multiple templates and Lightning Web Components with the help of this video. Thank you.